Oh. Hello, and welcome back to episode 8 of Let's Play Nexomon Extinction with me, Dan.W. On the last episode, we began taking part in the story once more, um, and ended not here. You may notice we're in a slightly different area. Uh, I decided that I would go around and catch some new Nexomon, and... Uh, Getting confused in between this save file and my um, test save file, forgot that I hadn't been south yet in this one, so went past the actual story triggers. Um, so apologies for that. Uh, all it was was some hilarious content from um, Coco about uh, about a haunted forest. Find a potion, nice. Um, however, when we came in. Coco spoke about it being scary, obviously. Uh, we went around and caught a few. I will, I've kept them in the new box, so I will go through with them uh, before before we... Um, oh, I'm on camera. I can... Silly Dan. Now I'm on camera. I can actually uh, battle. You may notice there's two new members of the party, Griff and Dreva. Uh, I'll explain why in just a moment, but first let's send out Foxtra and defeat this wrap up. Yes, yeah, so I've kept the new uh, Nexomon in the box uh, so that we can still um, see them. As usual, I've reorganised the other ones back into their type boxes and then uh, I have messed around with uh, I made a new box for the party just to keep the ones separate that I want in the party so I don't get confused. But we'll see why anyway. Okay. So, we ran around here a little bit and caught a few new Nexomon, and then I went up this way. That was where I should have pressed record in the first place. So as we walked into here, you'll notice a huge tree. And here he is again. Ah, that done W back. So, he scared us, spoke to us, gave us a uh, golden Nexa trap and gave us a side quest to bring him some company. He'd like a Griff and a Dreaver to keep him company in the forest because he wants to be a Nexomon tamer himself, or so he says. Uh, Coco did comment that since it's a side quest, we can just pretend it never happened, but let's do it because the prizes, rewards rather, are quite good. Well, did you bring a Dreaver and a Griff to me? I have some wonderful gifts for you, my dear friend. Okay. See, but why is it saying level 1? I don't think... I think... Okay. I don't think that level means anything. I think I could have traded the other ones that were asking for Nexomon. So, uh, there was a... Oh, God. There was the rubber one. And there was another one asking for the crocodile thing. So, I can do those now. Yes. So, you'll see. We get... How beautiful. Thank you, Dandot W. These will be my dearest friends. Forever. I hope to trade with you again in the future, Dandot W. With all my gifts in your hands, we can do anything. Anything! For now, I wish to spend some time with my new friends. I'm sure we'll meet again. <laughs> okay, so we got a Vault Key, a Golden Nexa Trap, a Level 2 Experience Core, and a Level 2 Greed Core. Let's not think too much about this. Let's have a look at what some of those are. Okay. So yeah, boost the experience earned by... Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because they... If we go into the actual team, into the next one, they can have, what, four cores then? Okay, I'm not going to put anything on now, but that's... I don't know if you can replace them later on, but that's interesting. Um, See, so yeah, I thought while we're here, we can then run up and see the others. I'm not sure if there's anything I'm missing yet. I haven't seen the ghost starter yet. I'm not sure if it's even available here, but I would assume it is. Uh, I already caught doubles of Griffin uh, Dreaver to... Um, why, am I, why do I keep fleeing? I'm on... I'm in, see, I'm now... I've forced myself to be running away so that I'm not getting uh, any experience. And, yeah, now, now I need it. Oh, well, now I can get it at least. I didn't realise Stamina Surge was free. That's good. Okay, let's head north here. Okay. 
So there's a trainer here. 20 coins, thank you. A blazing shard. Let's see what we got. Another Dreaver. in that box draw. I need to get somewhere that's got a PC so I can get um, my team back. Tempest Shard. Don't mind if I do. And 30 coins. We'll come back here and try and catch some if we need to. Let's just move on. Oh, and who might you be? Wait, 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 wait. You don't even have badges. You're not actual tamers. The guild won't allow random kids near the immortal citadel. It has gotten far too dangerous. Unless you get yourself a badge from the guild, we can't let you take another step. I'm sorry, pal, but you'll have to go back. Thank you for understanding. Wait, what? You can't decide that sort of thing. You're just a rookie. Who do you think you are? Oh. Okay, cool. Uh, let's quickly... In fact, that's a normal. Let's send out Foxtra before we start healing uh, Moonica. I'm such an idiot. Why did I do that? Well, it's only one damage at least. But what a waste. Okay. Ooh, Tantrunt. Okay, we want. Ooh. I might risk Faxer just a moment so I can pop this potion on Moonica before I send her out. Perfect mist. Oops. Nice. Oh, mist. Sending out Gekoko. Should still do well against anyway, so. Yeah. Enough left for another one or a rock punch. Nice. Okay. Moonica leveled up. Oh, and let his transline blazing mineral. Increases attack damage by 25% but deals 15% of damage dealt to opponent back to this next one every turn. Uh, do I want that? I don't think I do. No. What is wrong with you? You're not supposed to be here. You'll pay for that. Did we just... Okay, we clearly crossed the line there, but let's keep going and see how far we can get. We really should go to the guild and get our badges, though. Agreed, agreed, agreed. I know, I know. The Immortal Citadel. This place is known as the Immortal Citadel. Centuries ago, a witch's curse turned the people of a small town into wisps. The curse was never lifted, and the number of ghosts kept on rising. Most of them got used to it and have normal lives, while others have gone totally mad. Okay. 30 coins, thank you. I don't, 
I'm going back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. We can come here later, and we will come here later. But I think we've really, really gone um, far off the, uh, the beaten path here. I don't remember this place. Without my blah blah blah. For I have unfinished business in the mortal world. What do you need us to do? You must delete my browsing history no matter what. Please, you'll be rewarded for sure. My old house is somewhere in the citadel to the north. In there you'll find a computer and then yeah yeah, we're on our way. Okay. Okay, well that's good to know, good to have. Got a potion. And an ether. Well, let's get on our way. And a nature shard. Lovely. Oh. Oh dear. Yes. Tangent should be my middle name. Dan Tangent W. I do want to get those up there, but there's no easy path to get it, it looks like at the moment. Right, back to the story we go. Back to the story we go. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. <sighs> oh, it turns out I forgot that this guy sold um, Nexa Traps for 15 instead of 110. So, yeah, I bought some of them. In fact, I might even buy just some potions. Oops. I do seem to keep needing them. Everything else I don't really use, but potions I have been taking uh, a liking to, so. Okay. Back on track, he says. Oh, it was the guy here that wanted the... Uh, the but I don't have it on me, so yeah, I can't do it. But that's good to remember. It doesn't have to be level 1. I don't know why it's saying level 1. I might actually remind me. I should try and catch another... Um... Ooh! Leechy! Yeah, I need to catch another one of those little mice. Rubber, 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 rubber. Can't recall the name. Come on, inflict frail. Ugh. Let's whack a potion on him. A her. Moonica's a her. I've decided. That is a move that's sticking around for a while. Mm. I was say, no, my luck, that would have crit, but thankfully it didn't. K, J, J, I, J, K, I, K. Lovely, Leechy was caught. Not what I was uh, trying to run into, but hey. Maybe I can get lucky again and run into a Mian. Nope. certain places that I've got to go back to anyway so we'll catch you on the way back the impregnable city of whatever hundreds of tamers like us keep the place up and running nothing to report yet <laughs> oh a rookie huh <laughs> you better hurry up inside kid the tyrants are always lurking
So this is Parham. It's so much bigger than I thought. Whoa, so many tamers. This place is the real deal. Wow. And there's more. The capital city of Parham. Welcome to Parham, the ultimate bastion of the human domain. Amid the chaos, violence and decay that spreads throughout the world, Parham stands tall and proud against all odds. Once you become guild members, all your efforts and skills will be directed towards preserving this peace. Take a good look around. This is what you will be fighting for from now on. Lovely, that's where I need to go. That's a healing centre. Tamers like you can use it to restore their party for free. There's also a storage service where you can deposit and withdraw Nexamon. There's a general store over here. You can purchase various items to aid you on your quests. Their goods and prices may vary over time, so check it out often. They also sell Nexa traps to catch wild Nexamon. There are many types of Nexa trap, but you can learn about that on your own. Oopsie, I have been. <laughs> there to the east is the airship hangar. Many tamers use it to reach the Drake Isles, the alleged birthplace of the dragons. Feel free to check it out sometime, it's quite the view. The citizens of Param are especially kind towards guild members. If you have time to spare, pay them a visit. Civilians often have special jobs for the tamers like you. Don't know where the birth came from. To the west is the research district. Our scientists have spent a lifetime trying to unlock the full potential of our Nexamon so that we may survive. You may be newbies, but it's worth checking out. And finally, to the north, at the heart of the capital, lies the Tamers Guild. There's so much to see, so much to do. We have to check out the Drake Isles. We could capture our very own dragon. I'm tired of hearing about dragons. Did you know we can synthesise cores which enhance our Nexamon in the research district? You are such a nerd. One step at a time, kids. Come with me to the guild. You will receive your bronze badges as well as your first tamer job. Nothing is stopping us from wandering around the city, but I don't think there's much to do without a badge from the tamers guild. We should go north as soon as possible, and we shall. First, we will head to the healing center. <laughs> This is supposed to be the first one we went to. Hello there, young tamer. Is this your first time here? Using powerful Himalayan salt lamps, our free, <laughs> our free healing service can restore your Nexamon in no time. Why don't you try healing your orange pet? Oh, right. Do you see that computer over there? That's the storage console. Use it to deposit and withdraw your Nexamon. Have a nice day. Take care now, Dan.W. And we shall. So, first things first. Let's grab Snibel and Moonsting back into the party. Lovely. And then we're going to want to do a little bit of organisation. So, we caught Dreva, Cruff, Pot Pot, Streamol. Why is he still there? Why is he still there? We caught it on the episode. Whatever. Vodo or Voodoo. Skeratic, Griff, and Leechy, as you saw. So let's move those into their little boxes. We've got a wind. We've got a psychic, which are building up nicely. Cruff was water. Need to catch another one of that. Pot Pot is a plant type. Dream Ole is water. Voodoo was. What type was he actually? Ghost. Skeratic is electric. And Griff was a normal type. Oops. So here are our teams, teams. Here are our group so far. So we've got the most in normal, obviously.
The minerals are falling behind. Okay. Let's have a quick chat with these. Some Nexamon can evolve into a new form after reaching a particular level. You can figure out their evolution level by looking them up in your database. Oh, I didn't even know that. If your party is full and you capture a new Nexamon, one of them will be sent into the storage console. Huh? Why can't we carry more Nexamon at a time? Nobody knows. Sometimes nature's just weird like that. So let's have a look at that then in the database. So let's have a look at Cloudy, for example. How can I figure it out from this? Doesn't tell me anything. Okay, well, now that we're in the city, we'll end the episode here. Uh, and on the next one, we'll have a quick peek around and see what's what. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye.